Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. What's going on, Premier Gang? Check me out. Listen, I got a banger. An entire banger for y'all boys today. Listen, check me out. It's your boy, Snaggeroonie. I'm going to hop right into this video. This is the first time, guys. Look, I even got glasses on, bro. I got glasses on because I can't even... I can't even see why I did this. That's why I got my glasses on, man. I can't see. Listen to me, though, bro. This is the first time I ever had a hangover. I am 19. Out of these past, what, four years that I've drank, I've only drank four times. Only four times, bro. So at the end of the day, it's more like, why did I even decide to do what I did on this particular night? Now, I don't know what was going through my mind, but at the same time, I do understand that it was a weekend, spring break with my boys. I'm graduated, right? They have spring break, so they're out of school. So I get a chance to spend my time with my boys. So I'm gonna go talk to my boys. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go share the night, all that good stuff, good vibes, nothing more, nothing less. Here's where I messed up. Whew. All right, guys. <clears throat> Let me set the scenery for y'all boys. Y'all get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Wrap your blankets around you, all that good stuff. I'm finna upload this at night, so you, you're gonna see it at night. You're gonna have your socks off. You're gonna be cuddled up in a bottle like this. All right, but anyways. All right, so. This is a, like I said, it's spring break, so this could have been any time. As a matter of fact, it was a Monday night. It was a Monday night because, you know what I'm saying, we do our casual, recreational, you know what I'm saying, gas obsessions, like every single day when, when I'm over there, all right, which is like Friday and Saturday. It's not every single day. But on this spring break, we, we was gassing up like all throughout the weekend. So when it came to be Monday, my boy, he wanted to get him a, he wanted to get him a fix. Like he wanted to get him a drink, like. He wanted to go crazy. Now, I've always told him I don't like drinking, all right? Because now, I've told y'all I've only, like, drank, like, four times, right? The first time I ever drank, I never, I've never gotten drunk until this point, like, that one point. Not even, though. But I'm gonna get into it, but just listen, all right? So, I do remember this night. So, it's a Monday night, and he goes out to get the drinks, all right? And I don't know what type he got. It was not brown. It wasn't brown liquor. It was, like, um... I want to say it was like what do you call it is it silver liquor i don't know it's just clear so it was it was that all right and it was a ping pong night man ping pong night snag in a building bro you know what i'm saying hey no elbows fuck the wrist but anyways though yeah so like we got the ping pongs we 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 went to go get the ping pongs and stuff earlier in the day like we set this up like we set this up to be one of the best nights that we've ever had in our entire lives okay now my friends are white i'm black i'm the only black one in the, i'm that i'm i'm in that group that one group where there's like entirely different races but there's only one black guy all right i'm that dude however anyways so we get the ping pongs we set the day up we said we're gonna do what we're gonna do it turned out to be a success we get the ping pong table. We got, we got everything we need, bro. Nothing could go wrong until we get the ping pong table and we set the cups up like a pyramid, how it's supposed to be. Everything is going well. We are actually playing before we even start, you know, drinking. Let me say it like this. Before I do that, we set the ping pong table up. We set everything up. We went to go get the drinks, all right? He went to go get it. He paid for it. It was like a $20 cheap bottle of something. I don't know what it was, man, but he bought it, all right? He bought it, and we got back to the crib. Once we got back to the crib, we picked up one of my friends, all right? We picked up another person so we can make the ping pong night more exciting. Who wants to just have two people playing? You know what I'm saying? So we got three to four, you know what I'm saying? Not that many, not much more, but enough to enjoy something. So we get my boy. We pick him up. We, we go back to the house to do our thing, all right? So the ping pong set up, we got the drinks and everything, and then boom, we start playing. First, it starts off light. My boy, Icy, shout out to Icy. Um, I will put his link in the description, but he's not a YouTuber anymore, you know what I'm saying? But y'all know Icy, y'all know Nate, that's my friend, you know what I'm saying? He, um, but yeah, though, so long story short, he starts playing. This man's playing by himself, bro. He just practicing. He just flicking that hoe, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. He in that hole. He just flicking that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So he was doing that. Um, I got to see him just play. You know what I'm saying? I ain't play ping beer pong in a minute. Now I did play back then, but it was only with like water. It wasn't a real serious like. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? You make her or whatever. So fast forward, he's playing, and I'm like, I'm hopping in. What do I look like? Like I don't drink now. I don't. I'm not. I do not. I don't even condone it. However, tonight I was trying to get lit. Spring break. 
my boys is out, is out of school. However, now, why did I even decide? We started playing. We going crazy. So I think I don't know what the stipulations were. Like I said, I don't play. I don't play that game. So I think he was like, if you make, he was like, I guess whoever won. Like, well, no, we didn't play like how you're supposed to play because then you would have automatically gotten crucified, drunk, distorted, distorted, all of that. All right. So what we did was like we just we just drank casually. Like if he made one, he would just drink, I guess. And then if I made one, we played completely wrong. However, now. I didn't do that. I played the game, but I drank separately. So it was like, I didn't even play. I didn't, bro, because I don't do that. I don't even like the way it settles when it goes down my throat. Like, not like, pause, hold on now, you sweetums. All right. I don't like the way it settles. Like, it just, it's not that it tastes bad. It just settles weird. It just feels weird when it goes down, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I take, I got the bottle. I'm flushing it down with Sprite because that's what he told me to use. Like I said, I don't drink. I'm flushing it down with Sprite, and um, I when I when I drink, I don't just well, bam. No, I don't, bro. Like I, I will bam, 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 like three times because I can't just like no, bro. I can't just do that, bro. Pause, looking, cause I know y'all gonna be crazy. Listen, I already know y'all crazy, but look, I don't. I go well, bam, 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 just like that. And a drink like that. I don't just one go because, bro, it will destroy me. I wouldn't be here right now if I did that, people. I wouldn't be here, bro. Okay, let me sit down. Let me get back into my story time. So, I do remember the exact amount of shots I took, or an approximate. I think I took eight to nine shots that night, let alone. I know for a fact I had eight, without a doubt. There was no doubt in me that I did I might have even had more than just nine but to my knowledge I had about eight to nine shots eight to ten shots we'll say that we'll say we'll say ten shots just to be a badass I don't know how much that is compared to what y'all drink or if you even do drink but ten shots don't ever do it if you don't all right don't do it I'm telling you right now you stick to your three shots first time all right I'm telling you it'll probably work on your favor but I was drinking until I felt like I was drunk bro and even after all those shots bro I I'm just gonna say this. I never even got drunk the whole night. I got buzzed. All right. So after those like nine shots, we were chilling, and I got buzzed. So I was chilling. Everything was good. I'm. I'm. I know it wasn't the high. Like I. I was. Cause before we even like we, we. We. You know what I'm saying? We after after. You know what I'm saying? So before I felt a little buzz, I'm like, all right, we chilling. So this is where it starts to get a little intense, coach. Man, this is gonna be a long video. Anyways, though. Bruh. So we after we get done with the shots, I'm like, alright, bro. I feel I guess I'm alright. I, I ain't drunk, but shit, fuck it. We about to go ahead and smoke, bro, and do what we gotta do. Before the night ends, it's about what 1 a.m. You know what I'm saying? So we trying to do, we trying to, we going crazy, bro. So we go roll up real quick and we take it outside. I'm walking and I can low-key feel it. This is the first time I've ever been like tipsy or whatever or drunk or whatever, I guess. I can low-key feel it. I'm like, yo, this is how it is. And now the experience of being in that state, I felt like I see why people drink a lot. Now, I would not want to be, I guess, completely drunk because I don't know how that feels. I never, like I said, I never got drunk that night. And Lord Jesus Christ, whoo. Oh, oh, oh. Anyways, though, yeah. We, we we got outside we started walking like i said we already had we we already had one rolled up bro we already had one rolled up so we're walking outside and there's a cul-de-sac so we go to the cul-de-sac and bro i laid down in the cul-de-sac bro it was three of us it was me my boy icy aka nate and my boy javon man listen bro we was chilling i was in the cul-de-sac just laying down smoking my blunt I was the only one. They was like, bro, you're crazy. First of all, we was all standing in a hurdle in the middle of a cul-de-sac. I'm like, bro, why would we be standing in the cul-de-sac at 1 a.m.? Three of us. That kind of is like sweet as hell. So I'm like, all right, no, we're not doing that. We can sit down. I mean, it might look a little bit more suspect, but it'll do because it's one, it's a part of our life. We got to do this. So we're trying to get crossfaded. In other words, so they sit down, they just sitting on, you know what I'm saying? They just sitting on their butt or whatever. Me, I'm laying down. I'm looking at the stars. All I'm thinking about is like little peep. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, this is my first time ever like laying on the ground and smoking. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like looking up at the stars, just, just out of the world. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling. So, but this is how I kind of knew I was tipsy slash drunk, bro. Listen, I never do this, bro. When I tell you I smoke the roach down to like, 
not even burning. I couldn't feel anything. I felt like maybe I was drunk. Maybe I was tipsy. I didn't even feel it, bro. Like, it dropped. All right, so you know when people be like, all right, bro, just go ahead and throw it, bro. It's a little small roach. Just throw it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about, like, a real small. Bro, here in Georgia, bro, we smoke them roaches, bro. So it's not like it's just, oh, well, you know. No, bro. Like, it goes down. But, you know what I'm saying? It was like, just throw it. They were, and and, and my, my boy Nate, he threw it. I was like, no. What are you doing? I seen it on the ground. It was still lit. I picked it up off the ground. Dude, it was like this small. I'm telling you, it wasn't even that big. I picked it up off the ground. I wasn't going for it. I picked it up. I finished it off, bro. I finished it off, and then we got up, and then, bro, after that, man, we had to walk my boy Javon back to his house because he was like, I'm not going home. It was like 1 to 2 a.m. in the morning. I felt him because I wouldn't do it either. What do I look like walking in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. in the morning, and I have to walk about a quarter of a mile? No way I'm doing it. So we had to walk him halfway back. So we did walk him halfway back, and, man, do I remember the walk? I don't remember the walk halfway there but as soon as we got halfway there and we had to turn around i just started dying i don't even know why i guess maybe the crossfade hit me right then because i was like bro you gotta walk all the way down there and he was like you gotta walk all the way back up there and bro when you're like in that state of mind that could have been like the funniest thing you've ever heard so like bro i died i was crying laughing and like we was just walking back and then we got back to the house and bro i conked out but yeah that was mainly sight that was not it, it keeps going bro this is the worst part go home most people i think that they throw up like the night before and they like get it out of their system me on the other hand like i said i never drank so maybe this is the reason why that this happened i went to sleep you know what i'm saying now i think i was on a full stomach i did have taco bell the entire day so like maybe this is what really triggered these symptoms bro I woke up, I was nauseous for like 30 minutes. I was nauseous. I was like, oh God, I didn't feel like I had to throw up. I was just really nauseous. It was different. I guess that's what, I mean, well, nauseous is feeling like you were gonna throw up, but it wasn't like, I was like, oh my God, I gotta go. No, it was just like, yo, I'm nauseous. Like what's going on? I wasn't thinking about last night because I didn't remember last night, all right? I guess that's why people be like, dude, I didn't remember. I didn't really remember. I remembered it, but I didn't. So bro oh my god i can't believe this happened to me bro so i'm taking my glasses off for this but we getting serious i wake up Whew. starting to feel the symptoms coming down on me i still feel a little high you know what i'm saying from last from the night before um but i get up i'm like no dude i gotta go i felt it i was like oh man no 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 no, no. i had to go shit bro I'm gonna tell you the total of all this at the very end of the video. I had to go shit, all right? So when I did, bro, I went to the bathroom. I did my thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, a little little 10 minute. You know what I'm saying? It, it hurt bad. It was Taco Bell the night before. It was Taco Bell. Out of everything I could have chosen to eat before. Taco Bell, I didn't plan this, bro. After we went, because we went to Jumper Rock, like, the day before, we went to Jumper Rock. Then we went to Walmart to get the pings, and then we had our day. I didn't think about, bro, we went to Taco Bell after Jumper Rock. So, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm in the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? And then I go back to lay down. And then I'm like, oh, oh, I got to throw up. I was like, oh, no, this ain't happening. I got to go now. So I get up. I'm going up the stairs. I'm like, all right, I'm in the bathroom, bro. I'm at my friend's house. Thank God his mom was at work because if she would have been here, bro, it would have been wrapped. He, she wouldn't have got mad at nobody, but it, she just would have known, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, I went to the bathroom. I threw up, bro. All right. I know it's going to get nasty. It's going to get even more nastier. So if you don't want to experience the rest of this video, leave now because it gets worse, bro. All right. So I go back downstairs. So remember, the count is one to one. All right. One to one. One v one. It's a series. It's one to one. Anyways, though. Yeah. I go downstairs. I go back in the bed. I'm cold. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get cold now because I just threw up. So it's like I used a lot of my energy out of my body and so i'm like in a sweat now and i'm just holding myself i'm like oh like i don't know if that's the symptoms but i'm just like holding myself i'm like oh and then like i go to, i try to go to sleep but i can't go to sleep because little did i know i had a hell of a more lot to get rid of okay so with all that being said bro i go to sleep no no no. i, I take like a little 10 minute nap then i gotta go shit again so i'm like all right bro all right part two i gotta go shit so i, I do i go upstairs i do my thing i come back downstairs I get nauseous again. I'm like, oh no, we gotta go back upstairs. I swear to God, everything I'm telling you right now literally happened. I put that on the Bible, on your life, on my life, on my mother's life, on George Hamblin, Hamblin's life. I meant to say George Washington, but anyways, though, yeah. So like, 
That's the second time. It's two to two, bro. We doing best of five series. However, I go back downstairs. I'm really in a cold sweat. I'm still trying to hold myself. Thinking about last night, I was thinking it was the pollen because it's April and you know it's March and stuff like that, and it's the spring and the spring had just started. You know what I'm saying? But then I realized last night I was like, bro, I don't ever throw up. The last time I threw up was like one of the first times I ever like smoked, bro. So it was like a long time ago. But anyways, though, like. I go back downstairs, like I said, I'm in the bed again. It's two to two. The series is two to two, bro. So like I I, I I I'm like this, bro. I'm like, my friend's next to me, bro, and I'm like just holding myself, like just thinking, what did you do to yourself? Bruh, I have to go back upstairs to shit again. Again. I go up there again, bro. I'm like, oh my god. Why me, bro? Like, this is where you start questioning in life. Like, why did you even decide to attempt to do this or even want to? So, like, that happens. I go back downstairs. I'm like, bro, I, that's when I hit my boy Icy up. I was like, yo, because he's in his other room. I'm in his little brother's room. Like, his little brother's like 13, 14. And we just be chilling in there. So, I decided to sleep in there. So, like, I'm like, yo, Icy, bro. I texted him. I was like, bro, I just threw up like two, three times, bro. I, 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 bro, I got cruised. I got cruised last night. So, he's like, yeah, bro, I feel fine. Because nigga drinks a lot or whatever so i'm just chilling bro i have to go upstairs again bro it's like shit throw up shit throw up i swear to god bro and this just kept going on in around the fifth sixth time i was like oh yeah we counting these i was like i'm counting i knew i had to go i knew i was gonna have to continue to go i knew it i knew it was nowhere near over because i started to kick in <clears throat> i was like bro these hours just got me then i was like no bro i drank last night and it hit me and I was like, no, bro. It was so painful, y'all. When I was like, let me, let me, oh, yeah. Because I had to experience it, y'all are going to get the details. Bro, I was in the bathroom, and when I was throwing up, bro, it hurt. It hurt so bad. Like, normally if you throw up, it's like once or twice. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? You just get it all out. And it does hurt a little bit, but it's not like that. But like, yo, I was like arcing my back. Like, you know when like white girls try to like twerk and like they just use their back? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't mean to be racist, but like, bro, it's not even racist. But like, yeah, it was like that scenario. Like, bro, I'm over here like... <laughs> I'm over here in this stance that I've never been in my life, bro. I was sweating. I was like, like when I threw up, like I would get done. I would look in the mirror and like, never again, nigga. Never again. Never again. I told myself that every single time I was in that mirror. I promise you on God. Because I remember when I, the first, like I said, I threw up one time when I was smoking one time. This was like a long time ago. And when that happened, I was like, I'm never smoking again. But I continue to do that, all right? Anyways, I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, yo, what did you do to yourself? Why would you do this? What type of human would even think about drinking? Why? Why do people do this? It's not even fun. I go back to sleep. I mean, I go back to the bed, all right? That's when his little brother wakes up. He's like, bro, what's going on? I'm like, bro, I couldn't even talk to him, bro. I was so, so exhausted from just throwing up, bro. So, like I said, I'm going to fast forward this, all right? So I can get this video over because it's like 18 minutes right now, bro. Anyways, bro. The total of that night, I took nine shots. I threw up nine times, and I shitted eight times, bro. You can only imagine, only imagine the amount of pain, horror, sorrow, neglect to whoever one in their drink I've ever felt in my life, y'all. Okay, I'm telling you right now, don't drink. It's not a game, all right? Now, people are going to be in the comment section, bro, it's not even that bad. You're just a lightweight. Yeah, I am a lightweight. I've only drunk like four times, bro. So I'm telling everybody who doesn't, bro, listen, just take like three shots. You know what I'm saying? You'll be good. Don't go do nine, all right? I'm not a dumbass, all right? I just didn't, I didn't think it was going to take over me the night after like that. I never thought I could get a hangover. You know what I'm saying? I never, I never knew that, all right? I thought I could, I didn't even, those weren't even, it wasn't even on my mind. Like, I was drinking, it was casual. It wasn't like I was forcing myself. It wasn't like it hurt when I was doing it. It was just chilling. But like, yo, eight shits, nine throw-ups. You had to know that, TMI or not. You had to know that because I had to go through it. I had to go through it. All right, and no man should ever have to go through that. So following that day, I'm over here done. All right, I finally get to go to sleep. I finally get to go to sleep. This man, icy Nate, comes in the room. Bro, I gotta take you home, bro. I gotta take you home. I gotta go do some work real quick with my grandparents. I'm like, nigga, I'm not trying to go nowhere. I just died and came back to life. I just revived. I just had my rebirth. I just had my 95 overall rebirth, bro. Why did you just wake me up? So, man wakes me up, bro. And next thing I know, I gotta get up. So I gotta put my clothes on. I'm still feeling nauseous. Now, before I went to sleep, before I got that sleep, 
I did have to go throw it up again. But I was holding it. I was like, you're not going to do it. I'm, you're not going to do it. You're not going to. Like having that demon on me and the angel on me, I was like, bro, is that, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? No, I'm, you're not going to do it. You're good. You're fine. Like that was me, bro. I was in the bed just holding myself like in agony, like wishing that I never did it. You know what I'm saying? Just saying like, if I can make it through this day, I will literally do anything just to get out of this state. Like, literally, I swear to God, that's how it was, bro. I'm, I'm emphasizing, do not drink, all right? But anyways, yay. So, I have to go home, bro. I get my clothes on. It's a struggle getting out of the bed. Thankfully, Icy's such a cute guy. This man got me a Gatorade. You know what I'm saying? He got me a Gatorade. So, I felt a little good about that. He got me a Gatorade. Now, when I first drank it, it was like, oh, what? Like, oh, I felt like I had to throw up again. Because, like, it was, like, liquid in my body that I haven't had since last night. And it wasn't regular water you know what I'm saying, or something like that so i had the gatorade i felt a little bit better i got in the car and dude he was just like talking to me i was like bro shut up like dude i was still i was still wanting to throw up bro and it hurts me talking about this because i it hurt me so bad but like bro he was talking i was like shut up i'm not trying to hear you he was trying to tell me like how it is he would he just kept bringing up drinking i was like yo shut up stop talking to me i don't want you to talk to me i'm trying to keep myself alive in your car bro i'm trying to stay alive on earth <laughs> so like bro i got back to my house went straight to my room straight to my bed i didn't explain anything to anybody i just said look i throwing up allergies you know what i'm saying i use the allergies excuse i got by i got by went to my bed lay down and bro i started drinking my gatorade i felt better bro i felt better and when I felt better, I was like, yo, you know what? I'm going to take a nap, and I'm going to feel like a better man, and I'm never going to do this ever in my life, ever again, because ain't nobody going to tell me, ain't nobody going to force me, and I'm not going to force myself. So, with all that being said, <sighs> that was the time I had my first ever hangover, my last ever hangover. I'm never drinking again. I vow that on this video, people, for y'all, for the community, for the ticket community, for the YouTube community, for the Twitch community, for everybody, Godzilla, God himself. Allah, uh, everybody, all right, I'm never doing it. I was holding myself. You should never hold yourself in hopes that you live, people. That's how it was, all right? But yeah, long video. Y'all loved it anyways, man. And because of that, you gotta drop me a big boy banger like, all right? If you drop me that like, bro, I would truthfully appreciate it. I'm really grinding on this YouTube, and I just really wanted to let y'all know that I'm grinding. So, hey, y'all gotta turn on the post notifications and subscribe. We are at like 1,025 subs, 1,030 subs, somewhere around that. I'll either upload this video on March 7th or March 8th, all right? So, I really want y'all to turn on the post notifications, share this video out to somebody who has not drank, and people that are experienced at drinking, because maybe they might have their own stories, and if y'all ever have any drinking stories, y'all better put them in the comments. Y'all better write them paragraphs, bro. Write them paragraphs, because I literally read every single comment and it doesn't hurt me to like and heart and do all that because i'm not like these fake youtubers bro every single youtube video i post loot i literally have a description i have everything made they're brand new they're not reused descriptions reused tags reused titles dude everything is different and i make sure that my videos are quality made and i just appreciate everybody who always gives me a chance of watching my videos um but i love you guys so much man that was my story uh y'all let me know y'all's in the comments it's your boy snag -a I had to pull the soul, and I'm out.